Hello everyone. Inkscape version 1.0 was released a few months back and now all my Inkscape extensions have been updated to be compatible with this new version. That is the extension scripts will now work with both versions version 0.92 and version 1.0 of Inkscape. This means that now we can use the fantastic centerline auto tracing feature of 1.0 with custom stroke font extensions. The auto tracing will greatly reduce the effort required for the font creation. So let's just see how we can do that. I have covered the basic functionality of custom stroke font extensions in a few videos earlier. So I won't be going through the basics. You will find the link to the video tutorials in the video description below. We'll just focus in this video on font creation and to create the custom stroke font. We start with generating a font design template. So let's do that. I'll retain all the default option values. I'll just add the source font family name. This is a cursive font with open font license that I had downloaded from font library. The link is available in video description. And since we want to auto trace the fonts, I'll set the source glyph stroke opacity to zero and source glyph fill opacity to one so that we will have solid filled strokes. The first thing to note is that there are three layers created. One is for guides. That is the vertical and horizontal lines used for determining the glyph origin. The second layer is for source glyphs. And the third one is where we will be designing our own glyphs. So let me lock the guides layer. And then I'll select all the displayed glyphs by pressing Ctrl A. The first thing to do for auto tracing is to convert the glyphs to a bitmap. So I'll invoke this function make a bitmap copy. If you have set a very large font size, then it may be advisable to create bitmaps for each glyph separately. But here, since I've set a fairly small size that is 200, I can create a single bitmap of all the selected fonts. This will speed up our workflow. Next, I'll shift this bitmap to the glyphs layer and then make the source glyphs layer invisible and also lock it. Now let's go to path trace bitmap. Here I'll choose the option centerline tracing with auto trace. The default option values are good enough, but you can experiment with these values to see if you can get even better results. I'll press OK. Depending on the number of glyphs and the size, this may take a while. And now you can see we have a centerline trace of all the glyphs. We can delete the bitmap now, it's not required anymore. And since the traced glyph paths and the bitmap are overlapping, I'll select the bitmap through XML editor and delete it. As there was a single bitmap, all the traced paths have been combined into a single one. So I just separate these paths by going to path and break apart. Next, I'll enable the source glyphs layer and reduce its opacity. Now it will be easier for us to give finishing touches to these auto generated glyphs. You can see some of them like this character C require very little tweaking because we have a very good trace since there were no overlapping paths. We can quickly finalize all such glyphs. To refine it further, maybe we can make all the nodes smooth and delete a few unnecessary nodes. The fewer the nodes, the smoother the curve will be. So just try to reduce the node count as much as possible. And you can check the glyph design by hiding the source glyphs layer. So this is fairly satisfactory. But there will be some glyphs that will require a little bit more work. For example, this one. So let's see how we can convert this glyph. And by the way, once you finish designing the glyph, you need to set its XML ID to the character that the glyph represents. This is C, so I'll have to set the ID to C. This is required by the font generation extension. So let's see how we can clean up this A. First of all, I'll delete the unnecessary segments. 
let me just combine these paths into a single one next for each glyph i can simplify the path this reduces a lot of unrequired nodes and also makes the path smoother after this we can add the missing segments like these ones so i need to select the nodes between which i want to create the segment and then click this tool maybe i can disable the snapping and now since this node connects to this i'll have to break the path at this particular point and then connect these two i can maybe delete these nodes once they are connected so i get a clean sub path and then i'll convert this node to smooth and delete the superfluous nodes and finally i'll adjust the individual segments by dragging the points on them so this is how we can clean up the traced paths that have overlapping components and once you are done with the cleanup work you can invoke the generate font data extension i have already covered the details of this in the first tutorial so we won't go through this and that's it for today i hope you enjoy using these extensions with the new inkscape version if you have any questions or queries please leave a comment on this video thank you for your time